Hello, you must be the American Margarita mentioned. I'm Colin Baxter. I'm Nancy Drew. You can't stay away. This is good. Still here, I see. Ah, the conversation continues. Nancy, I've been worried about you. How are you feeling? Hello, Nancy. What's wrong? Hello, Nancy. I replaced the bulb in the microscope, so you're all set. Right now, I'm restoring this 14th century mosaic, which means, without getting overly technical, I'm cleaning the tesserae that remain in place, repairing those that have been damaged, and replacing those that are missing with new ones custom-crafted to match. Oxford, England. At least, that's where I was born. I live here now and intend to do so for a very long while. Although I say that with no small amount of guilt. Why do you feel guilty? Simply put, tesserae are the individual tiles which comprise a mosaic. She is indeed. As little as possible, of course. But people like me and Helena are the reason true Venetians are slowly going extinct. We foreigners come to Venice, fall in love with her, and wind up staying. High demand for food and housing results in high prices, which in many cases means the people who were born here have to leave because they can no longer afford to live here. If I could be granted one wish, it would be to have been born here. That way I would feel entitled to live here. And I would know how to speak Italian. You don't speak Italian? Much as it shames me to admit it, no. Languages don't come easily to me. And since I am able to do what I do without knowing Italian, I'm a mosaicist. Much as it shames me to admit it, no. Languages don't come easily to me. And since I am able to do what I do without knowing Italian, you know, just between you and me, I do this for free. I became fascinated with art in general and mosaics in particular when I was at Oxford. Just between you and me, I do this for free. You know, it's a phenomenal amount of work. However, Oxford University. That's where I'm from, actually. Oh, it is. It's extremely interesting. You know, I have some slides of various tesserae. Not only are they enormously informative, but they're also quite beautiful. Would you like to see them? Marvellous. Oh, I see. You're no more interested in my artistic endeavours than is anyone else around here. I'm just some sort of handyman to all of you, aren't I? Well, far be it from me to take up any more of your time. If you're looking for Margarita, she's up on the Altana. The rooftop garden. Really? Really. Here we go. Very well. You apparently are like everyone else, interested only in what something is worth instead of what it offers the soul. What, this statuette? Yes, it is exquisite. It's an example of late Etruscan bronze work, no doubt cast some 2200 years ago. I'm not sure how Margarita came to own it, but she's very fortunate. It's almost impossible to find bronzetti of this quality outside a museum. You see, after they conquered the Etruscans, the ancient Romans melted down thousands upon thousands of statues like this just so they could make coins. No, 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 you go on. We can talk more later. No, 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 you go on. We can talk more later. You got a deal. Oh, a parcel was just delivered for you. It's by the door. Thank you. What do you mean? What, what sausages? I didn't leave sausages in your room. The note they came with said they were from you. Well, someone else must have written it and signed my name because I promise you, I did not leave any sausages or any note in your room. Besides, you don't think someone would give you tainted sausages on purpose, do you? Of course it was. Why would someone try to poison you? You're right. It was probably just an accident. What? What sausages? I didn't leave sausages in your room. The note they came with said they were from you. Well, someone else must have written it and signed my name because I promise you, I did not leave any sausages or any note in your room. The handwriting matches the handwriting on the note I found in that book on religious relics. The one that belongs to you. All right, yes, it was me. But I had no idea those sausages were tainted. I just thought you might like them. I tried to lie my way out of it because I... I couldn't bear for you to know that I made such a ghastly mistake. But before you write me off as a feckless liar and an utter fool, just know that I am truly sorry. Causing you to be miserable was absolutely the last thing I wanted to do. I don't blame you one iota, but I'll make it up to you. I don't know how yet, but I will. I promise. No, it wasn't. I told you before the I... The handwriting on the note they came with matches the note I found in that book on religious relics. The one that belongs to you. I have a very strict policy when it comes to my equipment. No one touches it but me. And now, you. I trust you, Nancy. Please, be my guest. Oh, thank you. It was working fine a minute ago. How could you break it, Nancy? Something so vital to my work, so critical. How could you be so careless? Oh. Well, I'll just have to find you another one. In the meantime, why don't you have a go at the mosaic? Use the tesserae from that bin and create a mosaic that looks just like that photograph. With any luck, by the time you finish that, I'll have found us another bulb. While you were doing that, I replaced the bulb in the microscope, so you're all set. What? I don't know what you're talking about.
My real name is Justin Beaumont. Two years ago, I removed a Renoir from the private collection of a man to whom it was nothing more than a financial investment. I took it home so it would be appreciated as the masterpiece it was. Its former owner took issue with my actions, I was arrested, and I was sent to prison for a year. As for Margarita, she's the only one who knows. She says if I don't continue to work for her for next to nothing, she'll tell all her friends I have a criminal record, which would essentially end my career here in Venice, just like it ended my career back in England. If that were to happen, I'd be utterly lost. I have no idea. She wouldn't tell me. What's worse, not only does she keep trying to get me to use substandard material so she can save money on the renovations I'm doing for her, but she wants me to cover it up by lying to the Restoration Council about it. And for someone in my precarious position, <sighs> let's just say resisting has been very, very difficult. Enough. I insist we change the subject. No, I have a room in a building on the other side of the Grand Canal, a very small room. But I spend so much time here and so little time there, I suppose technically I do live here. No, in fact, I just won it in a card game. It's a Chinese puzzle box. Beautiful, isn't it? Because to open it, you must solve a puzzle, something which so far I have been unable to do. No, 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 no. You see, this chap I know, he was desperate for money, so he talked me into playing poker with him. If he won, I would give him the cash he needed. If I won, he would give me something of equal worth, this box, as it turns out. It's very light, so even if I were able to open it, I doubt there'd be anything valuable inside. The bloke is a bit of a ne'er-do-well, so I'm not surprised. However, Margarita has taken a fancy to it and is thinking about buying it. That's why I haven't taken it home. I'd love for you to have a go at it, but it seems a bit fragile, and until Margarita makes up her mind about buying it, I'd rather no one muck around with it. Sorry. That's right, I did. As a mosaicist, I'm always interested in seeing how stones and jewels are inlaid in metal, so I arranged to see it outside its case. Magnificent piece of work. My timing was magnificent as well. Two nights later, it was stolen. How's that for coincidence? No, I didn't really look at it because I assumed it was for you. It's not? Oh, I was afraid, I mean, I assumed they were from that locket fellow of yours. Il Dottore. Wonder who that could be. Working, that's what I'm going to be. I haven't been invited to any festivities, which is just as well because I detest costumes. So to Carnivale, I say, bah humbug. It's quite beautiful. All the more because it came from you. Thank you, Nancy. I shall treasure it. I'm Colin Baxter. I'm Nancy Drew. I thought I had at long last found a kindred spirit, someone who shared my passion for beauty, for art, but... What's his name? What's whose name? Cheerio! That is a wig you're wearing, right? Come back any time. Ciao. Drop by again. The bloke who gave you that locket you're wearing. Oh, Ned. Goodbye, Nancy. Good, because there's nothing wrong with your real hair. Nothing at all. I'm Nancy Drew. What are you doing, if you don't mind my asking? Where are you from? Much better. A little angry, actually. You kind of lost me at Tesserae. Is Margarita paying you to do this? Why do you feel guilty? Sounds like a lot of work. Where did you learn how to restore mosaics? Sounds really interesting. You don't speak Italian? Sure. No, thank you. No, no, I don't think that at all. I just meant maybe I could see your slides later. But if this is a good time for you, I can look at them now. I'd love to, in fact. Really. Very cool. Awesome. Wow. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice. Beautiful. I should probably get going. I think I've seen enough. Oh, shoot. Look at the time. I've got to go. I'd love to see more, but I really don't have time. I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me. This is fascinating, but I'm sorry. I've got to run. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to leave now. No, no, please. I'd stay, but I really do need to be somewhere. Believe me, I think what you're doing is fascinating, and you obviously really know your stuff. In fact, that figurine in front of you, I've been dying to ask you about it. It's exquisite. Stub. Interesting. Shoot, I wish I had time to hear more. Thank you. You got a deal. No thanks to you. Those sausages you left in my room gave me food poisoning. The note they came with said they were from you. I guess it could have been just an accident. They might have. You're right. It was probably just an accident. Now that I know it was you who left those sausages in my room, the ones that gave me food poisoning, the handwriting matches the handwriting on the note I found in that book on religious relics, the one that belongs to you. Well, I'm fine now, and everyone makes mistakes, so... 
Apology accepted. But I'm still kind of mad that you lied to me. The handwriting on the note they came with matches the note I found in that book on religious relics, the one that belongs to you. Would it be okay if I used your microscope? Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a burned-out bulb. Does Margarita know that you went to prison in England for art theft? You wouldn't lie to me, would you, Cullen? You're not going to try to lie to me again, are you? I'm not going to tell anyone. I just want to know. How did Margarita find out? In other words, she's blackmailing you? Who else besides Margarita knows you went to prison in England for art theft? Do you live here at the Ka? The person who left me those bad sausages. It was you after all. That box. It wasn't there before, was it? Why do they call it a puzzle box? Do you gamble a lot? Would it be okay if I tried to open that Chinese puzzle box? While I was looking through your book on religious relics, I noticed you made an appointment to see that chalice the phantom just stole. The chalice of St. Gervase? Do you know who that box of chocolates in the entryway is for? No, it's for someone named Il Dottore. What are you going to be for Carnivale this year? I came across this tessera and thought you might like it. I'll let you get back to work. What's whose name? I've kept you long enough. I should be running along. I need to get going. Oh, Ned. Oh, yes, it is.